Welcome back to a goddamn vlog, bitch. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't vlogged in a while, so, um... Today, I'm doing something really stupid. <laughs> When she looks like a founding father Because she hasn't washed her hair in about a week oh But first I'm going to a CrossFit class And then I need to get coffee I'm so sore from CrossFit I haven't gone in such a while And I'm dying, honestly Like my legs are not moving I feel like a Barbie doll How many y'all mama been good? She cooked that collard green fat back So yeah, I guess let's get our day Let's get our day started I look disgusting That's just life, I guess that's just life, I guess. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be cooking some vegetables today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into this pan right here. As you can clearly see, we are sauteing the vegetables in this pan right here, and I cannot wait to show you the final product. Oh, I'm sore. Oh, my lower back. She's burnt. Get me in. Ugh. It's going all right. Hello, love. I gotta tell you what is going on. Courtney Wheeler. Y'all know her. She's been in all my vlogs and shit, and we did the podcast together. If you haven't heard the podcast that we have together, go listen to it, Deep Fried. And the motherfucking description. She was talking about how she wanted to go to this music festival here in Atlanta called Shaky Knees. I have only been one other time, and it was a couple of years ago, but I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be cool if we can get like a one day ticket but we kept waiting and waiting and tickets just didn't go down in price and we were like we don't know if it's worth it so then yesterday this bitch texts me texts me she texts me and says there's like this thing where if you get a tattoo of the shaky knees logo you get in the festival free for life so i said Ma Shut up! Y'all know that BB Rexa meme where she's like <laughs> That's what I was like and I was like, oh my god, are we gonna do this? Are we gonna get tattoos of the logo? We are. Whoa. The good news is you have to have like the S and the K, but you can like make a design around that if you want. You just gotta have the S and the K and then like these lightning bolts around it. So we're gonna like figure out how to do that. Hey guys, so I kind of wanted to talk about my tattoo and why I got what I got. So I really wanted to incorporate the Shaky Knees logo into the Atlanta skyline. I thought it could look cool and the tattoo artist that we had freaking delivered. He said he didn't know how it was going to look, but then he showed me a like, rough draft of it and I loved it. For the life of me, I cannot find out who this tattoo artist was. We just got it on a memorial tattoo and if you want to check out all their work, they're such a great and um, iconic tattoo shop in Atlanta. I was squeezing her hand so Bro, hard. She was squeezing my hand harder than the, what my tattoo felt like. <laughs> but guess what? Free music festival for life. Free music festival for life. We thought we were dweebs coming in, but then like five people after us were like, we want the shaky knees tattoos. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show us some and close And tattoo artist had it too. Yeah, he did. Yeah. We're going to have to do some after shots when we clean up and stuff like tonight. Mm -hmm. um, I'll show you. And then we're on the way to the festival and you guys will see that. Mwah, love. Mwah. So this is what our tattoos look like fresh out the tattoo parlor, stunting, slaying, and living. Hello, everybody. I didn't even Where? start the I didn't even start the vlog today, but we are ready for the festi. I got my tattoo wrapped up because you can't have it in the sun for the first two weeks. So we got these um, 
What are these called? Ponchos? Ponchos. We got ponchos. For $5. For $5. So we're uh, waiting for Incubus. No, bitch. What are we waiting for? Casey Elephant. But it's Incubus. Incubus came on Friday. No, I I'm a dumb bitch. I can't breathe. It's dusty. It's like Coachella in this bitch. And then it started to rain on our asses. Good thing we bought those ponchos. Like, good decision on our part. Ha ha, we're fine. Ha ha, good day. And here's where things began to go south. So it was around this moment when I knew I was screwed. Fun fact about me, I try to do this thing where I don't use the porta potties when I go to music festivals or porta potties in general. I try my absolute hardest to hold everything in until I get home. And it's worked basically every time I go to a festival but this time was different. I usually rely on the sun to sweat out all of the liquids inside of me so I won't have to go decimate, disimulate, miss lemus moon. This time was a little different because as the sun was setting, I was still consuming alcohol and I was no longer sweating it all out. We were in the front in the middle of the crowd at Cage Elephant. I was having a blast, we were having a time. And then I realized, oh fuck, I really have to pee. I kept telling Courtney, like, I gotta go, I gotta go. And she's like, I don't know what to tell you, bitch. It was around this time when I realized I really only had one option if I wanted to continue enjoying myself at this music festival. And it was to piss on myself. Yes, you heard right. I pissed on myself in the middle of Caged Elephant at a music festival. Now this is how it went. In between songs, <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling this, but in between songs, I would just like, like let out a little bit and then try to like push it out. But here's the reasoning. It was raining. It was literally pouring the whole set, the whole like hour and a half set. Everyone was drenched. The ground was nasty. Everyone was wet. So that was sort of like my reasoning. If it wasn't raining, I probably would not have pissed myself, but I had to. And I took this video right when I was pissing myself and Courtney had no idea. And I didn't tell her till after, which is probably a good thing. Cause the bitch was, she said I, she was, uh, she was disgusting. So I walked out that bitch soiled ass pants <laughs> with a poncho on. I feel really bad for my uvu jobber because I had to sit in the uvu with my pee pee pants. Anyways, that's my story. That's day one. I was shaking, so I love you. Thank you for coming up. Do you know a secret place? A place to hide away. Hey. hey guys, so I just want to say thank you so much for uh, watching my video. I know this is a different type of video than I usually do. It was a lot more on the artsy side and less comedy driven and I hope it's something that you like. With me uploading twice a week, I kind of want to start experimenting more just because I have to start uploading more. And I also want to say big shout out to Alex who supplied me with the montage music. I'm going to leave his Instagram below. You can go follow him so thank you so much for the music because uh, copyright is a slut i love you all bye
said I 